I'm getting there. Nineteen seventy three, moved to New York City with high school college girlfriend. After bumming the globe, it seemed to be the closest American city to the rest of it. Not exactly an expatriate, yet believed in a world without borders, an east and a west, with a small capital in the north and in the south. Found a cheap pad in Greenwich Village, came to the East Village to visit poor, hipper friends, walked to Avenue B before ever walking down the Hell's Angels block, and every Saturday morning shopped in the open markets on First Avenue. 1974, moved to an even cheaper place on Bleecker Street, rents are going down and witnessed the end of the fancy fruit era right there between Leroy and Morton. There were still two guys, no, not that one, two guys pushing fruit in the West Village. One guy was running the numbers while the other was always hitting on the Italian women. Coco, 144, that's 1970, 71. Barbara and Ava, Barbara and Eve, 62, two girls they used to write. K-161, could that be 1970, 69? <laughs> Phase two, that's on a subway car, 1972, 73. Turn that shit down! Was lucky enough to take a photo of Allen Ginsberg with his mouth open. Wasn't a real photographer, was still shooting regular eight motion picture film, and always borrowed girlfriend's knicker mat camera, and pretended to paint on cotoliths and the new technology of Xeroxes. Uh, that's Greg Corso and newspaper clippings. Patty Smith was never forgiven for not being art school. Art was a kind of hippie activity. And the East Village, let alone the entire planet, despised hippies. Had to be cool to be hip, became a village person. In fact, became a village people. 